Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the One More Triple Driver headphones. I've covered a couple of One More products on the channel already. One was the Triple Driver in-ear headphones and the other was their VRX gaming headset. I'll link both those in the cards if you fancy checking those out. So today's focus is the over-ear variants and I've wanted to look at these for a while now. So I'm really glad to be bringing this review to you all. So the Triple Drivers are using, unsurprisingly, three drivers in each ear cup, providing a frequency response of 20 Hz to 40,000 Hz at an impedance of 32 ohms. They're high res certified with an oxygen free copper wire and they can fold nice and compact which is giving you great portability for all you travellers and commuters. So we've got the usual one more style box with some nice sketches on the internal flap illustrating the exploded design of the headphones. The first thing we see is a rugged rubberized hard case then a small box below that contains a carry pouch, instructions and some stickers. Opening up the hard case we'll find a velcro cable tie, a removable pouch that contains the oxygen free cable. Just a quick side note that is the majority of a Kevlar braided cable with a nice closed weave so it's going to last a long time. You've also got a 3.5mm adapter in there as well. You don't get any aeroplane adapter with this one unlike we saw with the triple driver in-ears but to be fair this design is more likely to be used at home unlike their much smaller in-ear counterparts. So let's get on to the main article which is obviously the headphones. On first look you'll see they've got a very different design than most on the market and the look's certainly going to be more subjective. Personally, I love this design and how unique they look, really up my alleyway in terms of design. They could even adapt this design for an open back design for future products, or even make the internals more visible, that would also look good. The headband's got a small one more logo on the top, with some nice silver stitching, and the leather follows to the ear cups too. You've got a good range of adjustability and the headband can stretch wide so it will accommodate all head sizes. You do have 45 degrees of rotation on there as well when you have them resting on your neck as well as to give a good seal around the ear. That's especially more handy with being someone that wears glasses. They do take a little bit more adjustment to get a good fit. On the bottom of each ear cup there's a 3.5mm connection for our cables. These headphones use a split cable that goes to each ear cup over a single cable that runs over the headband to connect the drivers together. Where this cable does split it goes to a rubber cable rather than the Kevlar that coats the rest of it and it doesn't feel quite as strong so just make sure you look after that end of the cable. Wearing these headphones for extended use can be a little wearing being that the cups don't fit fully over the ear as they claim but kind of more on the ear. This can make them a little uncomfortable over time especially if you wear glasses like me and then pairing that with a bit of clamping force it does make them harder to wear than other pairs of headphones. But that being said, I do wear glasses, so I expect the listening experience to be slightly more prolonged for those of the better sighted amongst us. So let's get down to business and give you some thoughts on the actual headphones and sound. In terms of bass, one will use a Trident bass reflector system, which works to avoid any echo in the low end. I'm pleased to say the triple over ears give a nice punch and kick. Certainly not the ridiculous skull rattling bass, but I feel that these don't actually need to give that extreme kind of bass, as it just wouldn't suit the overall feel of their headphones. But that being said, they do have a deep groove and have solved the main problem, so there's no boominess to the lows. The mid and high end is where I feel these headphones really shine, and the clarity being the primary thing that stands out. They deliver a vibrant, layered, lifting experience where little details are really brought out and I found I heard parts of tracks that have gone unheard with previous headphones I've tested. Vocals sound good, but as some others have noticed, the female vocals do stand out clearer than males. I did set my expectations rather high when these arrived, but they've definitely delivered. A smooth, deep, punchy bass topped off with superb clarity and tone throughout all the ranges. At a price tag of currently £180, these offer a superb sound at a much lower price than the competitors, and for that alone, the One More Triple Drivers are the best bang for buck headphones I've reviewed yet. So thank you for watching this video. If you want to get a pair for yourself, I'll leave the links in the description box below. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video and haven't already, please consider subscribing. A big thank you to one more for sending these out for me to review and I'll see you all in the next one. Control.